So here's an example for finding and describing the image in a concave mirror. I'm actually going to use an example from the textbook. Uh, it is, I'm just finding it. It's example one, uh, chapter 17, curved mirrors. It's actually under the heading magnification um, on page 391 in the new edition. An object of height one centimeter is placed six centimeters in front of a concave mirror of four centimeter focal length. Draw an accurate ray diagram, describe the image, calculate magnification. So, first off, draw the principal axis. Um, use a nice sharp pencil. Draw in your mirror. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it just has to be representative. In fact, we're going to be doing our calculations. And Sorry, I'm looking up just to check the um, video can see you. We're actually going to be drawing our lines off there, a line through the center. That, we're not going to worry too much about the exact curvature of that mirror because it's too hard to get right. So, the focal length is 4 centimetres. Focus. Which means the centre of curvature is 8 centimetres. The object is 6 centimetres in front, so it's here, and it's 1 centimetre high. There's my object. I always put an arrow on the object because I want to find out. So I'm just looking up to make sure you can still see it on the video. Um, I want to make sure that I know which way up my image is. Now we're going to draw three rays. Um, in fact, the first two are usually enough, but the third helps us to be sure. The first ray is a ray parallel to the principal axis. Oops, didn't quite get it right. You need a sharp pencil and to be accurate with the drawing. A ray parallel to the principal axis is going to reflect from the line, and it's going to reflect that's what I have in my ruler, through the focus. So it's going to go like that. Okay. There's my first ray. The second ray heads towards the focus, through the focus there. And again, rather than try to worry about the exact curvature of that line, I'm just going to reflect it from this line up here. And it's going to go back over there. All right. I don't think I'm going to quite be accurate here. All right. And the third ray uh, isn't always as reliable. A ray through the center of curvature is going to hit the mirror and reflect in the same place. I've got to get those positions just right. And look at that. It's going to come straight back from the mirror and head to the same spot. It's going this way, it bounces back. In fact, the mirror itself, if you want to be precise, is eight centimeters from the center of curvature. So the mirror is actually there. Okay? Which means it's actually just slightly there and it would actually be slightly under. Okay? Near enough. So my image then is over here. There's my image. And that image is the image is real. The light rays are actually traveling through the image. If I put a screen here, look on this side, I will see the image. It's real, it's inverted. Um, the arrow turns out upside down, it's inverted. And it is for a 12 centimeters, you can measure it if you like, 12 centimeters from the mirror. As I say, in practice, it's actually going to be slightly shorter and slightly closer. But for the sake of this diagram, that's fine. The magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object, which is 2 over 1, which is 2 times. 
You could do it just the same by saying magnification was V over U. Distance to the image is uh, 12 centimetres. Distance to the object is 6, which is 2. In practice, it's more like 1.8 because of this curvature.